on Twitch with Star Trek 25th anniversary with my good friend Andy Johns. How are you doing, Andy? Good, thank you. Have you had a good week? Got up to anything? Yeah. And, of course, our celebrity guest, (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Dave Velociraptor. Greetings, Dave. Hello. How are you doing, sir? I have been so rushed off my feet, it's incredible, but I'm glad to sit down and force myself to do something to relax. Jolly good. And I'm doing very well as well, Thank, thanks for asking. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> how are you, Alan? <laughs> you know, I was feeling a bit tired, but I took, I, took, I took a leaf out of your book, Dave, and I had a bath before I came on, and I feel good. I'm not a bath person, but I do like a bath every now and again, maybe... Once every few months, freshens you up. Whether you need it or not, you have a wash every few yeah. months. So, that's the only time I ever, I ever wash, to be honest. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Anyway, we are here with Star Trek Anniversary. I'm sure they're not interested in my uh, details of my ablutions. Instead, we are on mission three. So, before we start, previously on Star Trek 25th Anniversary, uh, we had a mission to a planet where there was uh, some sort of ancient civilization and we helped them. Yeah. We should also say that this is a, it's a point and click adventure and it's episodic. There's individual episodes in it. So, and so far the episodes have not been joined up. So we've done two complete episodes, which have been start and finish as you would do in original Star Trek on your telly. Yes, indeed. And the la- the first episode, we didn't do it live due to technical issues, but the second one is available. Um, and we're getting better. We're getting better at the game. We're getting better at it technically. This is the first time I've done something like this. So, yeah. Um, so this is episode three of the seas of this, of this Star Trek 25th anniversary, and we're on a new mission. In the second mission, we encountered the Elassi, who are a group of pirates who I'm pretty sure are going to be making an, a reappearance at some point. So yeah, it feels like it. There is a there is going to be maybe not a it's not really a, a story arc, but there might be some comebacks from what we did in a previous episode. You never know. Um, but yeah, you get marked at the end, and we're trying to get a hundred percent. So you get a hundred percent by following all of the Starfleet procedure and not letting the red shirts die. Doing appropriate Starfleety things like asking the computer for information and not killing people and various things like this. So, you know, but we're all Star Trek veterans, so we all know more or less how that works. So let's play. Also, the... mm-hmm. Yes, Dave. Also, in the last mission, in order to get 100%, we believe that we needed to follow two alternative paths and then abandon one path at the last minute and go down the other path. That's right. That was Which odd, meant that we had to do redundant stuff. Yeah, it seemed like you had to kind of explore everything, a bit like a sort of completionist approach, really. Yeah, you had the option to, to either go through the door or to teleport through the door. Yeah. Uh, sorry, to transport through the door. And we got it set up <laughs> so that we could transport through the door and then we didn't, or we got it set up so we could bust through the door and then we transported yeah. instead. Whichever one we did, we, we did all of the actions right up to the last point on both paths in order to get the 100%, which is a, a little bit strange. Yes. Although, to be fair, I I didn't test, like, not doing one of those paths. Got you. Whether yeah. it would, whether we it felt that still... we did, but we're not, we're not 100% sure. Yeah. We've got to try a bit of everything anyway. Okay. So, without further ado, let's get trekking. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its mission, to explore strange new worlds, to discover new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before.
I'd love to be able to skip this next part, but it it goes straight into it, doesn't it? Mm. Demon World. So this is episode one, which we've already well, done. The Enterprise's primary mission is peaceful through exploration. A few seconds the galaxy of it until holds we can load our Captain end Captain reports the Republic is in position. The Republic. Is Oh no, that's the one where we're already arrived. So we'll do the battle, just a second. We'll try mm -hmm. the, the, the... The game starts with a... With a battle with the Romulans. Which, the last time we tried it, it was so tedious. But this time, mm. I know a little bit more, and I, hopefully I'm going to be able to beat them this time. This, the name of this one is called Loves, Loves, Labors, Delayed or something? I can't remember. Right, where are we? What are we doing? Ah, yeah, okay. I know what we're doing. We are, um, we're just in regular space and we've got to go to, um... We've got to go to a place called, um, let me just double check, I'm, I'm not cheating, promise, I'm just going to read you a little bit at the start just so I know. The game is called Love's, La Love's Labour Jeopardised and we have to proceed to Arc 7. Alright, and, mm -hmm. and that's it. So we know we're going to fight the Romulans. So one of the things we can do straight away is ask the computer about the Romulans. Romulans, a race descended from Vulcan stock, but one that did not reject aggression as the Vulcans did. On a sensor, the two races appear very similar. Their individuals are known for being more passionate and emotional than their Vulcan counterparts. They currently use ships of Klingon design, suggesting to some the Klingons are maintaining them as a client state to antagonize the Federation in a move that circumvents the Organian Peace Treaty. Hmm. Do you know about the Organian Peace Treaty, Andy? Yep. He wrote it. Treaty of Algernon. I see. Oh, Algernon. It's got nothing to do with... No, that Kitama and all that, that was later, right? Yeah, and there was the peace accords with the Klingons. Yeah. Let's see if we can find out about Arc 7, just to check. Arc 7, a highly sophisticated arcology project looking into the origins of life in the universe. The project is being led by Dr. Carol Marcus, who, along with a crew of 17 members, is dedicated to unlocking the mystery of life. Further information is classified. Okay, Carol Marcus is a, is a love interest of Kirk, correct? Oh, she is, yes. Yeah. She from Genesis? Hmm. Roth Khan, yeah. She, yeah, she, uh... They had a kid, right? David. David. You dirty Klingons, you killed my son! That was when the Klingons became good, really good, you yeah. know, like, um, I, me I remember last week I mentioned that they were um, a little bit, slightly com comedic in the original series, but they were full oh, on serious. Uh, Russians. By then, yeah. Oh, now you're talking about Star Trek VI there. The Russian, did you say? No, no, the, the, the original Star Trek series, the, the Klingons were, felt to me as if they were based on the Russians. Oh, I see. Well, it's yeah. interesting because Star Trek VI. Um, what's the what is the what's the title of Star Trek VI? The Undiscovered Country. Yeah, that's a really good film. I watched it last Best yes, one it is. last year. Really good. And um, Kang is it Kang or Chang Chang? I think it is. Chang. Yeah, bloody brilliant, eh? Yeah, he was good. Yeah. Have you read Shakespeare in the original Klingon? <laughs> <coughs> um, 
Anyway, we're going to Arc 7. Dave, you're in charge of navigation. <coughs> I need to find the manual. What have I done with it? Oh, here's here. I'm not sure. So, I think Arc 7 is somewhere up there, but I can't remember. So the manual for the game comes with a star chart, which forms the copy protection. Uh, so it's number three, which is over on the left-hand side, and it is up the top. Right, in this up row? Up, left, up, oh, uh, up, stop, that's it there, right. that one there. Okay. That's arc seven. Okay, just for future reference, uh, if you, you see those concentric circles, yeah? Mm -hmm. How many of those are actually used for, for is it only three, or, or is this... Are these also used? So four of them are used. Right, so... The inner two, the first two are not used. Right, so it's only this one and this one. No, 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 the, the, the ah, inner sorry. two. So that one there is not used. Yeah. And the next one is not used. Right. And, and then the four... The four circles ah, okay. right, beyond okay. that, including the one that's partially obscured. Yeah, yeah, I see. I see. So that would be. So we could say one, two, three, four, right? Yeah. So this would be three sector, sector th thirty-four, maybe. Right. Sector three, and it's that. It's just over there, right? Yeah. Anyway, off we go to arc seven. If you get it wrong, you end up in a space battle. But you end up we in a space battle in anyway. arc seven. Romulan ship decloaking, Captain. Red Message alert! from the Romulan ship, sir. Treachery. We are aware of Federation plans. Prepare to die. They're arming weapons, Captain. Raising shields. Arming weapons. Shoot them with our weapons. Oh, I see they're cloaked. But you can see a shadow. Yeah, they've disappeared now. Look, they're not on the radar. Hmm. Did you destroy them? I think it would just carry on a bit now. Oh, I see. Look, there. Look, I hit them on the... What's yeah. That? Uh, right. Yeah. The starboard nacelle. No, it's starboard nacelle. Starboard is the front, isn't it? Port at the back. No. It's aft, isn't it? For forward is front. Aft is aft. back. Ah, oh, right, so it is starboard. Is it port is left and starboard right? I see. Where are they? Ah, too close. I absolutely nailed these when I was practicing. There we go. I'm dealing with a bit of damage though. Yeah. They hit on the top there, look. But they float, you see. Oh, there they are. Oh, that makes it easier, doesn't it? Full screen. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing I've discovered. It's a big doing. difference. But I've got no radar with the full screen, you see. Yeah. They should be dead ahead. Oh yeah, they're all red. 
They do seem to repair themselves over time, so... But they've been getting progressively more hot as time goes on. Andy will tell you that the uh, Romulan vessels have a... Um, they have a singularity in so, uh, that they use as a, as a warp core, right? Something like that. Yeah. Andy knows all about the ship. You're a big ship geek. Huh? Um. Although I don't know if they did in, in this in this period of Star Trek, but they did in next generation. Where are they? It's taken longer than I hoped. Well. Yes, you can using not the, the numbers. Yeah. Oh, come on. How long is it going to take? I'm surely got to go. Back in a minute. Captain, there is an auto beacon broadcasting from the station. Warning, warning. As per UFP regulation 342-188564.3, paragraph 3, this base is currently under a class 3 biohazard alert. All personnel are ordered to stay away from this base unless they are part of a biohazard response team. Right. Our forward shields are very badly done. What do we want to repair? Hi, sir. Hi, sir. That's it, sir. I don't bridge think repair, Captain. I'm just... What did he say? What was repaired? The bridge? Hi, sir. Just wait for Dave, really, I thought. Hull repaired, Captain. Let's just take a moment and just have a little chat with Andy while we wait for Dave. Yep. Turn it off for a second. So, yeah, I still think the Romulans are the the main enemy, really. I mean, I, I know. In this. Yeah. They seem to be going all over the place. I mean, if it's anything like the um, the series, I mean. They, they also. I don't think there's been anything that's linked them so far, is there? 
they've all been pretty disparate stories. Oh, you mean the three story? These three stories that yeah. we've done? Yes. No, I meant that in the pre in the first episode. Ah, Dave's mm. back. But in the first episode, there was a a thing where it said, "We're going to show you, we're going to like your deadliest enemy or whatever." Yeah. But um. Yeah, I still kind of feel like the Romulans were a. a, a, a dead I would enemy. like. I would like to find out that all these stories stand alone on their own, but yeah. there's a hid a hidden thread through them that towards the end of it will become apparent and we'll realise that there was something going on behind the scenes. That would be quite clever if it's that way. It yes. would. Or... Yes. Although I doubt it. <laughs> you know, we'll see. I I've doubted a how few much, things. How, how well have been woven wrong. this thread is, we'll see. Yeah. But I do think that the Alassi are are the the ones that are going to come back. Okay. And um, it could be, yeah, it could well be that it starts to build up. Anyway, Dave, what you've missed is that we've arrived at this station and it said, mm -hmm. what did Ahura say, Andy? She said that there was a, it was a biohazard. Yeah. Yeah, and no one's allowed on onto there because of this biohazard. So presumably if we beam down, we're going to be in no small amount of trouble unless uh, unless we have to, unless we wear a, a hazard suit or something like this i guess we we talk to the the bridge crew and see if spock's got any ideas well the first thing we do is isn't it hail is it hail message from arc seven oh, sir. i am centurion ardea preax of the romulan oh i didn't click anything then guys i promise yeah. weird try again Hailing frequencies open. Okay, just a second, guys. It looks like a dude is trying to say something. Have we got a glitch? I don't know. But anyway, we can't hail them. Sorry, I'm just, I was trying to see if I could find out what that guy said. We scan them. Not as far as I know. Just a second. Lauren Shields, your captain. Shall we just try and beam, beam in anyway? And then. Oh, I'll, I'll save it. And then it, right? reload afterwards. I'll save it. Right? I'll save it. I know it's... Here, let's see what happens. It, even if we, we know it's the wrong thing to do, but the chances are we'll not see this failed outcome unless we save and try it first. Yeah. Might be amusing. That's a good point. It's nice to see all the different outcomes, isn't it? Spot, yeah. come with me. Mr. Scott, you have the cup. They, they're going to appear and they all go. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> oh well, gentlemen, we just, we appear to be alive. Well, yeah. We accidentally done the right thing. Why is there a Romulan ship out there? Very good question. Well, I'm going to look at that Romulan ship. That's a good start. A Romulan bird of prey hovers menacingly. Yeah, that, was our, that was got, this was this got, our facility? Yeah. A Romulan a bird of prey today. hovers menacingly. Yeah. Look, did you see that, guys? What? Look, I'm not pressing anything. Watch. A Romulan bird of prey hovers menacingly. What does it move? Oh, it just got cut yeah, off. Yeah, it's moving and clicking. Just got cut a off. Romulan bird of prey hovers menacingly. But it doesn't. Even, even if that's not there. It's not. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's not you doing it. But it's as if there's spurious signals being sent. Yeah. And then it's it's getting cut off. So it's good. Oh. That could be tricky because we might miss something. Yeah. If that keeps happening. Might try loading it in again, but if it persists, 
All right, I'm gonna yeah. have a look around anyway. This computer terminal is linked into the station's. Yeah, look. Oh. Yeah, we might have to load it again. Yeah, it's not good, that is it? Maybe even to the point of restarting DOS box. I think so. Okay, we'll try it. Normal service will be resumed shortly. Streaming is easy. <laughs> We're still live <coughs> anyway. I don't know if anyone's on. I can't see the chat, so. Um, I'm actually looking at the. I'm loading it now, but I'm going to skip the credits and just load it. Sure, sure. Demon World. Though the Enterprise's primary mission is peaceful exploration, the galaxy holds many surprises. To be prepared, we are. Captain Patterson reports the Republic is. The Republic is arming weapons and raising shields. I suggest we. Do Okay, um... Raising shields. Lowering shields, Captain. Spock, come with me. Mr. Scott, you have the car. That explains why the... the Romulan that healed us was dismissed. Yes. Now I'm we don't know it, if he and, and I, what I want to do is I want because I came out of DOSBox to to you know to link it yeah. into this. Yeah. So I'm going to see if it works now without that, right? Yeah. Good idea. And then a because we don't know if, if that Romulan there was a dialogue option there screen. or if we just mm. cut it off or if it, he was just it's, saying bugger off. Yeah, yeah, it's fine now. But if Good. I I don't we'll, we'll find out now if um, coming yeah. out of DOSBox and then back in again has caused it to do that. So Right, we're back. And we're in here and let's see. A Romulan bird of prey hovers menacingly on the view screen. Right, we're okay. Could you guys hear that okay? Yeah. Here, but okay. <laughs> oh no, I, I hadn't clicked watch stream, that's why, and now I can. Uh, now I'm, I'm getting. Okay, I'm getting I thought something. you were just taking a minute. Yeah. Um, Alright, yeah, it's working now, so we're all good. Is anyone on the tw on the um, Twitch at all now? Not that I know of. Just, um... But let's, let's not. Um... If someone says something, we can reply, but otherwise, let's not focus on it. Yeah. Because if uh, people go back to... to watch a this as a void... bird of prey hovers menacingly on the view screen. Yeah, all I wanted to do was just have the, um... have the Twitch up so that I can be aware of anybody. Right, okay, so we'll continue. I'm just gonna look at everything, guys, right? This is a heavily secured door leading to another section of the station. Its access code has been breached. Okay, we've got a heavily secured door. This is a standard door leading to another room on this deck. All right. You are on the bridge of the Arc 7. So the Arc 7, Dave, we, uh, we asked mm -hmm. the computer and it is a um, research station looking for origins of life in the universe. That's right, I was there for that. Oh, okay. You are on the bridge of the Ark. Right then. This computer terminal is linked into the station's main computer. It is currently running an open file of log programs. All right, so we could check the logs. Good plan. But how do we do that? 
We've got the computer and we've got Spock. Should we just use this computer? Spock, check out the station's computer and see what you can dig up. Dr. Marcus Locke. Supplemental. Continued testing of the Ouroboros virus confirms its potential harmful effects on Romulan Vulcan humanoids. As soon as the spill has been cleaned up, we will sterilize both labs and purge the circulation system to make sure no traces of the virus will remain viable. Then all research files must be erased. We must leave no chance that this terrible accident will ever be repeated. Doctor, you may be interested in the medical data file appended to the log. Okay. Is anyone else thinking um, Red Dwarf? What's that? What's the reference? <coughs> Ouroboros. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Spock just coughed. Spock did just he? coughed. Yeah, he did, yeah. I'm going to pause it. He's Vulcan. Yeah. He wouldn't just cough, would he, randomly? No, he's scanning. Get McCoy to use the medical tricord or medical scanner on him. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Is it that one? Yeah. I'm picking up some kind of virus. I can't identify it without more information. Uh oh. Right. Use the doctor on the computer, right? Yeah, good idea. Now that's interesting. There's more. Well, well Spock said Dr. Do Marcus it, so. research data on the Ouroboros virus. Let me see. Virus growth patterns. Pneumonococcal mimic affecting Romulan Vulcan genotype. Alveoli involvement in. Boy, Jim, this bug works fast. Is this really the time to catch up on your reading, Doctor? Now listen here, you pointy-eared... Gentlemen, I think we have more pressing problems. Jim, there is an appended medical database online. Also, it would be useful for me to experiment on how the virus grows in the presence of different gases. I'm sure the station has the necessary equipment. Spock told the doctor to look at that file, and then he said, Why, what are you reading that for? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Right, so where are we at now? We've got um, a virus that kills Vulcans and Romulans. The Romulans are very worried about it. Perhaps they think that it's some kind of, could be a potential bioweapon. Yep. Some kind of terrible accident happened. Presumably, any Vulcans that were on this ship, if they were, presumably, if it's a Federation um, station, probably died. Bok has already contracted it. And, um... What did McCoy say he wants to do? Did he say he wanted to do something? He wants to test it in different environments. Yeah, he wants to test it in different environments. Yeah. Right, well... Is there anything else to look at here? This computer terminal is linked into the station's main computer. Spock, check out the station's computer and see what you can dig up. Let's see what. We've already done this, right? Please select subject file. Oh, okay. Ouroboros virus. So the Ouroboros is a snake that devours its own body, right? That's right. It's the. In, in Red Dwarf, it's the. It's a, a, it's a paradox where the start is also the ending. Oh. Where it's a self-repeating cycle where Lister is his own father. Nitrous oxide, ammonia, dihydrogen oxide, exit database, Ouroboros virus. Okay, let's read everything. Ouroboros Dihydrogen oxide virus. is water. Atypical growth patterns for L-type virus. Opportunistic pneumococcal mimic affecting Romulo Vulcan genotype. Etiology. Contact or airborne vector with alveoli microcollapse. Involvement immediately upon exposure. Tissue dehydration follows pneumal flooding. Mortality <coughs> 0 0.6 in 1.0 stardates. 1.0 within 2.0 stardates treatment, none. Named for the mythic world snake that swallows its own tail. 
Please select subject file. Ouroboros virus. So Spock's gonna die if we don't sort this out. Yep. TLTDH gas. TLTDH gas. The chemical compound. Tantalum. Bilithium. Thalo. Dihydroxide. Colorless. Odorless. Non-flammable. Gaseous at 1 ATM. And temperatures within the human norm. Early anesthetic among Vulcans and Romulans, in whom it produces laughter, feelings of exhilaration, euphoria, sometimes leading to unconsciousness. In post-industrial pre-space flight era, a social problem evolved when crude TLTDH became popular to cook up from non-conductive tantalithial compounds commonly used as electrical insulation. Please select subject file. Ouroboros virus. So, TLTDH gas. It's like sort of Vulcan laughing gas, right? Yeah, produced from, illegally produced from insulation. So, we're looking for some kind of evidence of someone mm. using insulation, which would indicate that they're um, abusing, they're sniffing, they're, they're huffing glue. Yeah, <laughs> but it strikes me that, that that could be a clue that we might need to manufacture that gas from, from, yes. from yes. something in this. Yes, that makes sense too. Right? Yes, chew them up. Nitrous oxide. Now, nitrous oxide is the human equivalent of this TLDA. That's right. right. Nitrous oxide, a colorless non flammable compound, N2O. Gaseous at 1 ATM and temperatures within the human norm. Early anesthetic among humans, in whom it produces laughter, feelings of exhilaration, euphoria, sometimes leading to unconsciousness. Please select Same subject thing. file. Ouroboros virus. I hope we're going to get Spock kind of losing control of his emotions. Yeah. It's always amusing. Get, isn't it? get him smashed. TLT nitrous ammonia. Ammonia, a colorless pungent compound, NH3, a common byproduct of metabolism in carbon-based life forms, liquid or gaseous at 1 ATM. Compounds widely used in agricultural, medical, and industrial applications. Please select subject file, Ouroboros virus. Or as, as we would know it, the smell of cat piss. Yes. TLT nitrous ammonia dihydrogen He's talking oxide. Talking about you, Johnny. <laughs> dihydrogen He's right oxide. Right behind me. A colorless, tasteless, non-flammable compound H2O. Water, liquid, solid, or gaseous at 1 atm. Temperature scales defined in most humanoid cultures by state shift of pure water. Please select subject file. Right. Ouroboros virus TL nitrous ammonia dihydrogen oxide exit database. Well, so that tells us we've got some uh, chemistry to do in this mission. Yeah, and I think we need to create that PLD stuff. Let's just. Do I wonder it. if we need to create both, or if the Spot, definition the of nitrous oxide was just to make us up. fully understand what it actually does. Please select subject file. Ouroboros virus. TLTDH gas. Again, just to give us a clue about how to make it. TLTDH gas. The chemical compound. Tantalum. Bilithium. Thalo. Dihydroxide. Colorless. Odorless. Non flammable. Gaseous at 1 ATM. Tantalum lithium compound. Norm. Early anesthetic among Vulcans yeah. and Romulans, in whom it produces laughter. Feelings of exhilaration, euphoria, sometimes leading to unconsciousness. In post-industrial pre-space flight era, a social problem evolved when crude T Please select subject file. Ouroboros virus. Ouroboros virus. Please select subject file. Ouroboros virus. Exit. Do that to exit. <laughs> we don't have access to the ship's computer. On the Enterprise, which would be useful. We only have access to this. Yeah. One. Although, obviously. I mean, if there I is nothing a, at the moment for me to do there. I would just hail a lure and say, what, what have we got on the Enterprise database? But 
Okay. So, can we think of anything? That's what I was afraid of, Jim. Well, we've got I a door over there we can go worse. through. Can we not go through there? Yeah. Just a second. I don't think there's anything else to, obvious to do in this room. And yeah. there's a great big door there saying... Yeah. Saying lab. Let's explore. It's weird, you know, when you press K on the bridge you get Kirk, but you don't... it doesn't work in here. You have to go here. Save new game. Too many games saved. Replace or delete a previous game. Save new game. Replace previous delete previous game. Save new game. Replace delete previous game. Just gonna delete a few old games. Save new game. Yep. Replace pre delete previous game. Save new game. Okay, three B we're up to. Okay. Um so have I looked we've looked at everything. We've Yeah. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. You get no Can response. Can we speak nice to view of the Romulan ship? How comforting. Yeah, I just I just spoke to. Nice view of the Romulan ship. Uh, the spoke of anything to see himself. To. Nothing unusual here, Captain. Though the station's computer may be able to tell us something. Right. This is a very dangerous situation, sir. We should proceed with caution. Okay, Thank nice. you, Ferris. Is that a second door there? There's a red door and then there's a, a, a yeah, kind of there's an air lock there's, door there. There's a, like a hatch here, yeah. This is a heavily secured door leading to another section of the station. Its access code has been breached. So, so we've got two places to go then, potentially. Yeah. Where are we going, guys? Red door. Red door. This is a standard door leading... Okay. to see in here. This is a distillator used to isolate specific compounds from raw material. Right. This is a distillator used to... So we've got a distillator, which presumably we're going to make that LTE stuff. Yep. This chamber is where virus samples are placed. So we're going to cure the virus. This is a large engineering safety door with heavy shielding. Its entry codes seem to be breached. So that's another door we can go through. Yeah, that might lead to the same room as that previous one. Yeah, possibly, yeah. I think we'll find a lab well. and we'll pick up this vials and samples ladder. and stuff. It appears to lead to the next deck below. Wow, this is a slightly bigger place, look. There's a ladder. Is yeah. It? yeah. There's at least two more rooms, possibly three. A device three. to accelerate neutrinos. Not much good for anything else. A device to accelerate neutrino. All right, I'll just have a little wander around. Shall we get Doctor Bones to look at the? Yeah, because what what um, I think we might make the mistake of doing is having only a cursory look in each room, and then. Yeah. Been left with a puzzle what to do and having to go back and research every room. I certainly see nothing there calling for a <coughs> ship's doctor. Have we used the tricorder on things? We have to attach something to the nozzle first. I'm just getting Bones to have a look at it and he said we've got to attach something yeah. to the nozzle. We're missing items. We feel as if there should be definitely, there's no items so far in this episode. Yeah, we need to pick stuff up, don't we, to sort out. Yeah. That's where I think we'll find in the other two rooms, we'll find stuff to pick up. And then come back here to 
analyzed the virus and then metabolized or whatever you want to call it a create the compound basic compound distillator excellent piece of equipment for reducing complex materials to their basic compounds see when you get <laughs> that's where we'll put the insulation yeah when you get spark through it to look at something you get a much yeah spockier exactly <laughs> captain i believe dr mccoy has the necessary skills to run that equipment Right, but we haven't got anything to put in there, have we? We're going to no. put some insulation in one of the machines. We're going to find some insulation and put it in there, and that's going to give us, it's going to reduce it down to the stuff we need, I think. Yes, from what that, the that's, that's for sure. I'm just yeah. wondering, though, this thing is not, that. that's that's this bit of equipment down here, but this, sort yes. of, this thing up here that the doctor uses is a sort of virus analysis yeah, so equipment. We'll, we'll take a sample from Spock. Oh, anti-agents. There, you see that little green bit there. Yeah. So let me uh, let me ask Spock what he thinks about it. Before. I fail to see the logic in that action, Captain. I hardly. You're a science officer, Spock. I think it's quite logical to look at some scientific equipment. But there you go, Captain. I believe Dr. McCoy has an. Um. Okay. Well, what does that say there? Freezer unit, look. This is a large yeah. refrigeration unit. Can we go inside it? Don't we'll open it up. So. Right. This refrigerator has a number of specimen dishes inside. You take the Ouroboros virus culture. Okay, Dave, we've got some. Uh, yeah. So, do we use that on you the machine? You take the Ouroboros virus culture. There's our sample of Ouroboros virus. Yep. Give a good lick. We're obviously going to have to get some equipment from somewhere. Any suggestions, Andy? Can we use the virus on the machine just now, or do we need a nozzle? I'm pretty sure I think we're going to need to look around, aren't we? Yeah, I think we can. We can try, and it'll probably tell us that we need to use a nozzle. Yeah. That nozzle is for anti-agents only, Jim. So that's the output. We're not going to put that the that on the input. We need something to take the output, which we'll find in one of the other rooms, no doubt. You take the Ouroboros Unless virus. Unless it's given you. I'm just curious. An empty to know. thing now. Yeah, look, you can get a second copy of it, though. Yeah. Right. So. Okay. Well, we put it in there. Can you use McCoy on the machine now? Definitely needs a nozzle, doesn't it? But I'll, Might give I'll, us more I'll, information about I'll it. use him on that, on this part. We have to attach something to the nozzle first. There we go. Right, should we go... So um, we've got... We'll explore. Should we go down the ladder? Yeah. The virus has spread to me, Captain. I suggest you concentrate your efforts on the problem. That was weird. Mmm, poor Spock. You think that's just him ill, or is that a bug? No, it's him ill. This is a very well-equipped laboratory, Captain. Perhaps... I hope we're not on a timer. I don't think we're on a timer. But for now, we can always repeat it. We've done like 10 seconds worth of stuff. Yeah. Not letting me click on that ladder. Oh, yeah. Am I? Do I have to use the I'm ladder? using it. There is nothing at the moment for me to. Just a minute. I've got to walk away from it. Right, I'll go over there. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I've gone in here. Never mind, that'll do. Oh, what's that spanner thing on the floor? <laughs> definitely need that. That's, that's not obvious, is it? <laughs> All it needs is a little twinkle. Yeah. <laughs> a tiny spanner. Same size as your leg. Uh -huh. Yeah. Even bigger, yeah. It's a standard adjustable metric socket wrench. A spanner. Right, well, we definitely need... Another that. door there as well. Or is that where we came in? It might be where we came in. That's know. where we came in, I think. You if pick up a large a wrench. Frame, actually. They're refusing to call it a spanner. It's a wrench, it's a socket, something, I don't know. Anyway, we'll have a look around in here, right? We've got... What have we got? Nothing there. This is the engineering centre for the ARC-7 space station. Got to have something. This is. These have got to have some insulation. On it. Turbines of a Cochrane 500 class fusion drive, manufactured over a century ago on Alpha Centauri. I didn't realize that they use these old fusion reactors anymore. Actually, Doctor, as Mr. Scott would tell you, the Cochrane 500 is renowned for its reliability and perfectly suited for a it's station. Renowned for its reliability. Hey, this thing's real old, isn't it? <coughs> Yep. Although this is in 1991, was there a Zephyrin Cochrane or just a Cochrane? Interior wiring in the equipment. Sorry, Dave. But say it again. Did Zephyrin Cochrane exist in 1991 Star Trek? With the first name, or was it just Cochrane? Oh, we don't know. If, I don't know if we had his first name. Yeah. No, Zephyrin Cochrane was around in like 2063. No, I mean no. In this, had the. <laughs> <laughs> what we, back we, then? We, yeah, no, yeah, we mean. Yes, yeah, yeah, Cockroach. Yeah, he was. Um, he was named in one of the episodes. Yeah, was he okay? And, okay. and he's, yeah, he, even, um, he's also used as a unit of measurement, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. For the warp, for the warp um, drive or something. Field strength. You need I think they they, 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 they really fleshed him out in in Enterprise yeah. the, the series, and also in and also in one of the Star Trek Next Generation films. They went back, didn't they? They, they yeah, went yeah. back. First, first contact, contact, was it? Yeah. Yeah. And he, and he was, was played in by um, in the first episode. He was played by yeah. quite a well-known actor whose name escapes. He's been in a lot of stuff. Cool skinny guy. He was in. Uh, he was in um, L.A. Confidential. I know that. Good. Uh, guys, took the I'm Millennium gonna, Falcon back. I'm about to use. I'm about to use the wrench on this little door down here because it's an right. engineering access panel. Looks like we've uh, got something. The panel is open. You see vast quantities of dust and stripped insulation ah. from wiring repairs made to the console in the past. I wonder, do we need anything like that? Chaps, insulation, dust? <laughs> I think we do, you know. Right, I'm getting that You fail to obtain anything. We'll try harder. I want that. Insulation dust there. Right. You grab a handful of insulation. We're gonna cook up some drugs for for Spocky. <laughs> you grab a handful of insulation. There is a pile of stripped insulation that fell out of the engineering access panel. All right. You're wondering what I'm doing. I bought a great big amount of Velcro cable ties and they came on this, uh, in a wheel basically, and I'm putting them into the, the proper way to have them, which is much easier to use. So if you hear a tearing sound, that's what it was. So you're not just sort of opening and closing your pants then? No, no not, not, not this week. <laughs> Right then. I live in my own, there's no reason to close them. No need for using to wear them in that case. <laughs> <laughs> Turbines of a Cochrane 500 class fusion drive. I didn't realize that they actually, Doctor, as. Hey, this thing's. Alright, well, we've got that, so obviously now we could probably take that back to the um, machine in the other room and isolate the chemical yeah. that's needed for spot, right? Yeah. 
pop it through, see what happens. Um, but but let's not let's not rush into that. Let's just have a little recce. Is there anything else we've missed? That, that Can we use the tricorder on the engineering guys. computer to tell us something? Standing in the way. Turbines of a Cochrane. I didn't realize. Actually, Doctor. Hey. Sorry, Dave. What was that? Can we use the tricorder on the engineering computer to see if it tells us anything? Yeah, we haven't used the tricorder on anything yet. I'm not saying it definitely will, but maybe. The fusion reactor is functioning at peak efficiency. There is no need to tamper with its current operation. A prime source of raw material for TLDTH gas. Nothing to report, Captain. All right. The fusion reactor is... I think we're done in here, then. Yeah. I'm going to use the medical tricorder on the spot, though. Just... Sure. Did we actually do that? We did, I think. He has weak vital signs. Yeah, he's just acting completely normal, but all right. Well, presumably then... Well, we're not stuck, are we? So we might as well go uh, out. No, but I think, I think we're going to lose Spock quite soon. I think he's going to faint or what? We've got other places to go still. Oh look, we've got those same wires that we had last time. Yeah, yeah. let's use the same graphic. <laughs> That's so lazy. I'm sure they didn't need to do that. It's on a CD, this thing. We have distilled a quantity of polybaryl carbonate. Right. We've got polybaryl carbonate, guys. You know that. Aye. Tasty, refreshing drink. Also known as moonshine. Right, what are we going to do with that? Because that's not the gas. Use it on smoke. Well, that's, yeah, but it's obviously... It's, um, well, okay, let's have a look at it. Because it's obviously not a gas, because otherwise we wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to carry it, would I? I would, I would yeah. have needed a vessel to carry it, so... Um, Let's have a look. Oh, well, maybe it is. We seem to have got a, a container. We've got that there. nozzle is for anti. Obviously, we need to get a, we need to get a, a nozzle. I don't think we'll ever use it on that. No. I think that machine is for a separate thing to analyze yeah. the virus. I will end up needing to use something from Careful, that machine Jim. plus something from That's this a machine. Not a can opener. Careful, Jim. Wait, just a later. Yeah, I've just distilled that that, that, that into some sort of uh, okay. compound. For, um... Yeah. I think we should explore more. Yeah, I would tend to agree. More places to go. Can I, can I go down this ladder or what? Uh-oh. This is that music <coughs> usually means phases. <coughs> These are Romulans, and they're all yeah. dead, I would imagine. Dead. They're dead, Jim. They're dead, Jim. It's worse than that. They're dead, Jim. Jim, we've got to help these men before they die. They're no deed. <laughs> we've got to... What are we going to do? Like, put the gas and, like... Fill this room or something. leave Spock in there with it. Be. Put the gas in or I don't know. Or we're going through that restricted door. Well, use Dr. McCoy. Right? Use Dr. McCoy on the man. I can use a medical kit on them, can't I? I don't have the proper medicine to cure them, Jim. Damn it. What about the I'm, I, I don't think they made any kit well either. It doesn't well, make sense if we could it, fix them. It doesn't, no, but I don't have the proper medicine. I think using Dr. McCoy is the same as using a medical. Game over. Load a previously saved game. Oh, bloody. And he's died. Spock's died. 
That's fine. Yeah. It just means we're on a timer. That's all. Yeah. Probably every, but, every little thing we do is chipping away at that timer. But it's fine. We can just reload and try different things. If I, if we reload, we should explore. I think. I need a better idea of what we're looking to do with our time. But we've got, we we can repeat this as often as we want. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit Rick dangerous now. It's a bit like learning from your deaths. Well, yeah. Load a previously saved game. Rest oh no! What Start with the game. Oh, right. Load a previously saved game. Right, we've got. Which was was it? Three B, or should we actually go back to the ship and just like rush through everything? I would say we should. Um, I would say that when we've got a better idea of what we're looking to do, we should do that. But I don't think this next reload will be our last reload. Yeah, okay, because like when you complete the level, you can play through it really quickly, can't you? Yes, yeah. All right. And we'll need to, it looks like that won't be an option this time. We'll have to do it at least more than once now until we work out the sequence of actions that we need to take to, to solve it properly. Yeah, so it's going to be a case of reloading a few times and just trying a few things out, right? Like we don't need yeah. to examine this stuff, we just need to go in this room and get that, that thing, right? I, th I think we need to go to the rooms we've not been to, rather than repeating what we've already done. Because when we go to you these new rooms, we're wasting time in those, and we need as much time as possible to explore well, before we come back and do a proper solve on it. You pick up a large wrench. Well, that's true, but we might find that there's a... I mean, since it's an object that we can actually... Yeah, right enough. It'll take, us, it'll take us moments to get that uh, that stuff back, and maybe we'll find we'll need it later on. The panel is open. You see vast quantities of dust and stripped insulation. You grab a handful of insulation. Is that it for this room? Yeah. yeah. That room over there, is that a door? This is a service access panel permitting used up or worn materials to be replaced. Oh. So we're not going in there. What happens if we use that panel? I feel like we'll be this using something opens. on the panel. You see a gas tank labeled N2 with its feed lines running deeper into the wall. That's nitrogen. Yeah. So that's what we'll replace with the cure, and we'll cure the whole place. The tank is the large place. and heavy, with its feed lines firmly attached. Oh, but is there a nozzle on the top of there, maybe? <laughs> this is the engineering center for the... Kirk is looking closely at the equipment. Thanks, yeah, I knew that. The red chunk. Yeah. The tank detaches easily. I guess this made it easier to replace the tank every so often, eh, Captain? Okay, so. I think. Oh, well, we don't have the tank. We don't have the tank, though. Try to pick it up. Yeah, it seems a bit big, but yeah. It's a bit Monkey Island if we can pick it up. The tank is too heavy to move by muscle alone. Uhura, can you beam it into the other route? I think we'll end up connecting something else there to cure the station, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, well, or perhaps we can attach something to it, right? Anyway, we've learned something. Yeah, we may even just... Route. That's cool. Yeah. Right, so we've got a nitrogen. But that, that could be a red herring of nitrous oxide. That could be a red herring, you know? I think yeah. nitrous oxide is a red herring, but it might not be. It's... I think the, the nitrous oxide might have been put in just so that 
we properly understand exactly what yeah. um what the the, the the Vulcan equivalent is so that we yeah. We have distilled a quantity of polybaryl carbonate. <laughs> okay, we've got polybaryl carbonate. And um got a sample of the virus. Yeah. <laughs> Great. They got Leonard Nimoy to actually just say, so can you cough? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wonder if it is his you cough. You take the Ouroboros virus culture. Right, that goes in. Um, let's explore the other room then, right? We've been down. Yeah. Did we go down the? We went down the ladder, and those guys. The the other thing is yeah. though, guys, right? It might be that that area downstairs is deadly for Spock, and he just dies. Well, we don't know. Um, we don't know. I mean, we know he was ill, so I, I don't think it'll be that. But we'll find out. We go downstairs and we try and go through the, mm -hmm. the restricted door and see if we see what's behind there. I feel as if we're gonna we're gonna see some some more items, and we'll sir. find some obvious like things that we can do. Have taken control of the lower decks. Oh, they haven't died yet, the Romulans. Oh. oh. Ah. Load a previously saved game. <laughs> That was mean. That was mean. Where did they come from? Romulus. They were, those, they were all down below, but they hadn't died yet because we were quicker. Oh. <coughs> oh. So maybe we have to flood that deck with this gas, and then that makes the Romulans start laughing. Knocked out. It? Yeah. yeah. And then, then, then we go Unconscious. down. Unconscious. I, I, I was think just we, about we, to we, save it then as well, just before we did that. And I thought, all right, never mind. I don't think I don't think we should be saving just now. I don't. I think we should be exploring we and finding other game, things to do. Yeah. I think, I think it'll make. Game. I think we'll see some obvious things to do if we explore. We're trying to solve puzzles just now with with half the items, okay, like going yeah, through that airlock, right, for example. Gather some info, extra information. Yeah. Fair yeah. Enough, fair yeah. Enough, yeah. Otherwise, when you die, you just end up losing everything you've done. Yeah, especially if if, if 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 we've got three quarters of a solution and we repeat three quarters of a solution every time, we'll only get 25% of the time left to find the rest. Look what oh, there we go. Here, there you though. go, O2. We've A2. got nitrogen, now we've got O2. Yeah. And O2, yeah. Yeah. nitrogen But we, we haven't got a wrench, though. What's that that golden door? Anyway, we're going to have just going to have a good look around, aren't we? Oh, and there's a... This is a synthesizer used to combine and replicate chemicals and form new no, compounds. Is it, call, is it a hyperbaric chamber? This particular chamber? model has twin gas feeds. Right, so we're putting two forms of gas together to get the gas that we want. The gas to knock out the Romulans. An RDAP yeah. 1000. And then the last word maybe of molecular put replication, one of the most advanced the cure in there scientific to equipment cure spot. ever constructed. It would take us several hours to get this machine working, Captain. I do not believe we will need it. The synthesis chamber should be able to give us what we need. Get Spock to climb inside there. Then, then... Yeah. <laughs> Pushing the cupboard. Stay in there, Spock. And in the already, left. He's already ill. He's already ill. So. This is a synthesizer used to combine and replicate chemicals and form. Well, Spock just said we're not going to need it. We can just we can just use the basic equipment on here. This is a synthesizer is a used to combine and replicate chemicals and form new compounds. This particular model has twin gas feeds. So at the moment, right, I reckon if we use it, we'll end up creating water. Yeah, so what's, what's in, the, in the little cupboard there? The cupboard I keep mentioning. Nothing happens. Okay, sorry guys. Um, nothing happened when I did that, but what, this cupboard here? Yeah. Yeah. This is a storage cabinet. Oh, it uses a electronic door like the doors that they go through. A small field effect anti-gravity unit useful for moving things too heavy to lift and carry there by we go. alone. Right, we need to bring the nitrogen in, don't we? Yeah. But we don't want to make nitrous oxide though. What's the Why? compound 
that we want to make again, the the, the one that knocks out um, it's called Romulans. Called or something. It's called Romulan knockout gas. No. Does it Do contain oxygen or hydrogen or, or nitrogen? Well, it's made with that um, with that stuff that we synthesised, isn't it? Doesn't need anything else. Yeah, it does because. Otherwise, it would be it would have made it would be called that, wouldn't it? If we if we'd have made it, it would have been called TLDH. Yeah. It feels as if we'll make it in here, if you know what I mean. We'll yeah, combine yeah. it in here, then wheel it back through to the to the air supply and connect <laughs> up the air supply and knock them all out. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I wonder how how many times did that happen in Star Trek when they like fed something into the air supply. It must have been about four mm. or five times. They did it on Voyager a couple of times. This is a synthesizer used... Right. A gas tank marked O2. Well, I might as well... You might as well try the gravity unit, right? Have I, have I taken it? No. We've got to get it, I guess, right? Yeah. You take the anti-grav unit. I might as well Can try we just pick try. up stuff now without mentioning it, or do we have to actually tell it to use it on things to then make them gravity-free so we can pick them the up or something? I, I don't know. I have to work to out carry, how to use sir. it. Is it that? It must be. Yeah, it's that. You attach the anti-grav unit to the gas tank. It can be moved freely. Oh, that's a fancy. You pick it up now. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. Carrying it because it's um. And I've still got the anti-grav unit. So I don't know if I can. Can I use the anti-grav unit on the nitrogen as well? You attach the anti-grav unit to the gas tank. It can be. <coughs> but I've got it. How how can I carry both? Have I got it connected to both now? Don't tell the game. It's like um, Roadrunner. You'll suddenly you'll suddenly realise you're hanging, <laughs> standing <laughs> on <laughs> thin air and fall. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we've got a puzzle to work out of what we need to combine to get the knockout gas that we want. Yeah. Well, we could definitely make nitrous oxide. Yeah, but I don't, don't know that we need to make nitrous oxide. No, but I suspect, Dave, that we have to make it in order to get 100%, don't you think? Yeah. Could be, could be. Um, what's this? Is this the same door we came in? A door. <laughs> That's a good description. Yeah. <coughs> a door. Let's go then. You fail to obtain anything. Walk to the door. <laughs> oh, okay. How about that? That's weird. We didn't go in that way. Oh, no, because it's the other door. Up there. Yeah, so, yeah, so there's... Yeah? There's kind of three rooms connected. We've got the main entrance, we've got this room, and both the main entrance and this room are connected to the other room by looks of things. I see. The one place we haven't tried to go is through the restricted area beyond the Romulans. But we don't understand if we need to, Johnny, know if we need to wait until they knock themselves out or if we need to knock them out ourselves. Sorry, Johnny, Dave. no. I missed that because he was the spot was talking. I don't know what we need to do. There's the door beyond the Romulans. Yeah. But we've been down there twice. Once we got there, no problem. They were lying woozy, and the second time they were they they, they shot us. So I don't know whether it's just a case of waiting before we go down there, or whether we need to connect Romulan knockout gas up to the, the air system. You see a gas tank labeled N. <coughs> I'd, I'd like to go back to the computer and read the. Romulan knockout yeah, gas again to see if we get a better understanding of how to make it. Because we might now be in a position to make it. Fastened to the body yeah. of the station captain. The tank must be detached first. 
Bannertain. Yeah, we'll go back. We'll go back. You pick up a large wrench. Anna. The tank detaches easily. I guess this made it easier to replace the tank. Now we can anti grab it. The tank is now firmly attached to its feed lines. Oh, right out loud. You used the wrong thing, yeah. Yeah, but oh, actually, though, that's interesting because perhaps what would happen if I put a different gas in there? Don't know. The tank detaches easily. I guess this made it easier to replace. So we use the anti grav on that. Yep, then we can pick it up. You it. attach the anti grav unit to the gas tank, it can be moved freely. It sure beats hauling it around on our back, sir. Nothing happens. You could save here if you want to experiment that for a while. I don't think it's it's not doing anything anyway. Nothing happens. Should I go and get the um I might as well go and get What I want to do, if you guys agree, is go back to that room and then experiment with all the different gas and just see what happens. Yeah. The panel is open. You see if we have time. You grab a handful of insulin. I wouldn't mind when you go out there to save and then if it allows you to go downstairs beyond the Romulan to see if, if, if we can get past them. But of course, if you save, it might it, we might get shot when we try to go downstairs and we don't really understand that mechanic yet. Yes. Save new game. I'll call it 3x, meaning like don't use that one because it's. Yeah. We lost the sound. Yep, yeah. so like. Please select subject file. Oh. Ouroboros virus. TLTDH gas. TLTDH gas. The chemical compound. Dihydroxide. Yeah. Colorless. So dihydroxide Colorless. is water, isn't it? Non flammable. Yeah. Gaseous at 180. That's, that's what we got and elsewhere. We're told about dihydroxide warm. elsewhere, so we need. Tantalum by lithium fallow is the bit we need. So we need PBLH. Virus. Please select Ouroboros. Ouroboros. Please no. select uh -huh. subject file. You can't just exit. Ouroboros. You've got to actually... you can't exit. You can't just press escape. You actually have to do it. Um, but we didn't see the second page of that description, which was going to tell us what was made by. Because uh, that's giving us instructions on how to make this stuff. And I think we might have all the stuff for it already. Well, I think so too. Yeah, I think that though, that, that if we go to the. If we go to this um, computer and use this, use the, use this on that. Then yeah, we'll get. I think this is the still the quantity of polybaryl carbonate. That might be. The so same. how do we get that into the? We add that to water. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the logo, So just a second. Sure. Is that paused? Sure yes, so I think so. Right, back in the reloading's second, no problem.
spot we didn't die after. Nope. Um, so, where where do we want to... Oh, you wanted to go into the... Down the ladder, though, right? Yeah, as we see if see what's beyond that that restricted area door if if we can get Save there. New game. Yeah. Replace previous game. Hopefully that's replaced. We don't know what causes us to get shot or not. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looked like something up there, didn't it? Like a sort of booby trap. Or something. A device to yeah. accelerate neutrinos. Not much good for anything else. A device to ex a device to ex You would rule this the world if you had opposable thumbs, you little shit. Sorry? Oh, he's talking to his captain. Yeah, I said he, he would rule the world if he had opposable thumbs. I see. I thought you were talking to me. Right. Not really. You have opposable thumbs. Sleeping with the fishies. No. Oh, you have to use this blinking ladder. Right, well, let's watch what happens. Oh, we're in and they're all dead. No, they're not. They're unconscious. Yeah. So, can we get through that restricted door? If we go there quickly, yeah, maybe. Shall I look at it first? This door leads into another sector. This Thank door you. leads that was into another sector. Wonderful. Yeah, but the Romulans have fainted and Spock's gonna die any time now. That would be my guess. Is that Carol? That looks like Carol. She's not rendered very well, is she? Look at her. Jim, it's you! Please untie us! Um, use Kirk on Carol Marcus. It's uh, risky. Not the first time you've done that, is it, Jim, eh? Thank God it's you, Jim. I'm so glad you came. Not the first well. time she's been glad he came either. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dr. Carol Marcus, please tell us. And a really ugly guy beside her. Well, she's no voice painting in this, and by that graphic, that was a lazy graphic, that one. Look at that. Anthony and I will look after these Romulans, Jim. Dr. McCoy, we could use your expertise on discovering a cure for the virus. All our equipment is at your disposal. Right then. <coughs> so, what have we got in here? This box's gonna die any second. But all our equipment is at your disposal. An odd looking device, almost like a 20th century torpedo fitted with an experimental gear. My god, that's some kind of weapon. Everyone on this project is an avowed pacifist, Doctor, myself included. We do not make weapons. Yes, but what about the Genesis device? That Genesis was... wasn't a weapon. I know, but it was adapted by the Klingons. It was weaponized. Yes. I failed to see the lot... Some odd-looking equipment connected to the torpedo. What does this stuff do? What's going on here? We're conducting research into the origins of life in the universe. This is our equipment. We believe that... Uh... Well, I guess you don't have the time. You can get the background in my doctoral thesis. So this is when she was actually working on the Genesis, don't you think? Must be, yeah. Yeah. Which is quite cool. It's like a sort of prequel. Yeah. Was, was she in the original series, Carol Marcus, or was she only no. in the film? Yeah. Well, that is, that is a cool touch. I like that. Yeah. This is like the early stages of the Genesis device. Yeah. yeah. 
This is a very advanced research laboratory. This Romulan commander is unconscious. Really? What was your first clue? Oh, I guess I'll talk to matey boy here, eh? Yeah. It's about time someone got here! Is that all you got to say? Anthony and I will look after these Romulans, Jim. Dr. McCoy, we could use your expertise on discovering a cure for the virus. All our equipment is at your disposal. Yeah, what equipment? <coughs> I haven't even seen anything in here. Only the equipment that we already have access to. I don't see anything in here that's going to solve Some our problems. Some equipment connected to the torpedo. What does this stuff do? What's going on here? We're conducting research into the origin. I fail to see the logic in that action, Captain. <coughs> oh dear, Andy, have you got the virus as well? Are you part of Vulcan? Me? Yeah. Hurry up. Save me. I it's the same in any weekly drama. No one know. ever coughs without good reason. Especially at the start of it. Well, we didn't have many items earlier on. We got plenty now. What's that middle thing? That's the thing for carrying the heavy uh, the oxygen tanks. Yeah. It doesn't look like we're going to do the work in this room, though, because I can't see anything. I wonder if this room is for later in the... Yeah. It does make me wonder now about our plan for um, disabling the Romulans. Yeah, either we disable the Romulans to get down here, or we we ignore them until later when they're unconscious while we're doing other things. Game over. Load a previously saved That's the end game. of Spock. Yeah. I don't think there's any... We gained anything by going downstairs at this point, if that makes sense. Yeah. I it think was, we should yeah, have we stuck with yeah, we didn't get Alan's anything. idea. We didn't get anything, did we? So, although we set them free, but so right. So we're in here. Did we get? Have we got all the bits? I mean, yeah, we got them all here, right? More or less. Although I don't know what we do with that. But. Oh, was it was it in here that we did the? Where is this where the tanks were? No, this isn't where the tanks were. This is where one tank was. This is where we connect up whatever we want to pump to the air supply. Yeah. Yeah. The tanks. Where are the tanks then? In, through the. Um... Yes. Inventory, haven't you? Yeah, this, this is where we connect up the two things yeah. to combine them. Uh, where we want to join things together. I don't know if you want to say before we make a mess of things or, well, or what. Well, it's only, it's a quick save, it's a quick load, isn't it? So, yeah. From where I was, so I'm not too worried now. We might as well mess about. So we're going to try, what are we trying to combine then? N NO2? Uh, or... I, I thought Nothing it was water happens. we're going to try and make. Nothing happens. Because we saw it was, it was dye dihydrogen oxide well, or something. I, yeah, I understand that, but it was already H and O2 were connected to that before. Nothing happens. Nothing it happens. Was actually, yeah. You install the gas tank to the synthesizer's feed lines. <coughs> That's H2. Oh, I, I tell you what, I'm just going to try and see if I can hook this thing in there. That happen. Nothing happens. I didn't think so. But where's, where's the chart? You install the gas tank to the synthesizer's feed lines. Now, do we just need to create... Or can we put this somewhere? Yes, we can. Ah. Uh, it's 
So this is where we'll combine all three things together by looks of things and get if we get the right two tanks with Nothing that, we'll get Romulan knockout gas. Mm. So try changing the H2, uh, the H2 for the nitrogen. Nothing happens. Why the nitrogen though? Because That's the description side. Nothing happens. Well, Andy makes we a want? pretty good point of the fact that it was it, it, H2 and O2 were, Nothing all, happens. were already there, you know, so. The can looks much too heavy to carry, sir. Oh, you could have used the, the, the <coughs> gravity thing on it. You attach the anti grav unit to the gas. Okay, and then the what? Nitrogen on there. Yeah. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. You install the gas tank to the synthesizer's feed lines. Oh. Captain, I see the problem. The gas feeds are turned off. If you'll permit me. Gas feed is on. The machine synthesizes a quantity of inert matter. Right. So we were supposed to turn the gas feed on. And then Spock, well, that's the, yeah, that's in that other room, isn't it? Spock just, no, but Spock just did it. No, this is a gas feed on those tanks. The tanks were closed, so now they were open. But we've lost our... Um... That's not the right material to put in there, Jim. Have That's we got anything in, right in our inventory now? No, we've lost that. that we've lost that stuff. Okay, I'm going to load it in again, and we'll, we'll try it with the H... Like, like, like Dave said, it was H two. Yeah, the the it's description of the. It's literally just. Uh, yeah. I've already, yeah. I've already picked up. Yeah. Oh no, we haven't. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we picked that up already. So we'll just go in here. That's easy enough. Um. So apparently that thing goes. Install the gas tank to the synthesizer's feed lines. I'm putting oxygen and hydrogen. It was the other way around before, so that might make a difference. Nothing happens. Stupid thing. I've got to walk away though, like that. Okay. Right. Hydrogen goes in there. You install the gas tank to the synthesizer's feed lines. And. Can we not turn the feed line on? No. Like that. The can looks much too heavy to... There is nothing at the moment for me to do there. Wait a minute. The can looks much too heavy. There is nothing at the moment for me to... I thought... There is nothing at the moment for me to do there. I fail to see the logic. I'm just trying to get, try to stop him from actually turning them on, you know. I fail to see the to logic. Do you see what I mean? Mm. <laughs> but anyway. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Is Spock going to do anything? Nothing happens. I'm clicking. Captain, I ah. see the problem. 
The gas feeds are turned off. If you'll permit me. So he goes. I mean, I was. Gas to feed do. is on. Oh, the machine God. synthesizes one liter of TLTDH there gas. Cool. An unusual compound, Captain. It can induce laughter and feelings of exhilaration in some, much the way nitrous oxide. Do we know how to make knockout compound? It doesn't affect Vulcans, of course. Whether that's a good Actually, thing or a bad Doctor, thing, both I couldn't tell and you. Vulcans suffer its effects. Why, that's just dandy. Vulcan laughing gas. Please, Doctor, this is not a laughing <laughs> matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Because it's, you know, I put the oxygen and the hydrogen in a different order. I don't know if that made any difference. You take a one liter container of TLTDH gas. Now, to finish testing this, I'd like you to connect it to the air supply for the building. For the whole complex in the other room and see if that works. Yeah, but I've got to use it on spot. A loud hissing fills the room. It's all gone. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. I mean, I can probably synthesize more, but I don't know what's going on with Spot. Let's uh, ask McCauley. <laughs> I, I don't think that was the right thing to use it for. I don't think you can... Yeah. I don't have the proper medicine to cure him, Jim. Why isn't he uh, laughing? This is an outstanding facility, Captain. Oh, he seems a little jollier, doesn't he? Tell us a joke, Spock. This is an outstanding facility, Captain. Did you hear about the world champion Scarecrow? Ah, uh, he was outstanding in his field. I see. A Vulcan, a Romulan, and, um, <laughs> and a Ferengi walk into a bar. Why the long ears? <laughs> right. Any suggestions, guys? Um. Do the whole thing again, and then it's coming up to take it to the two hours air lasting, supply. So. I think it's the lab thing, yeah. And then see so, if it, see sorry, if you can so, connect it up to the air okay. supply. All right, so I'm going to load it in again. I'm going to go through the door, and we are going to put this in there. going to put oxygen in there. You install the gas tank to the synthesizer's feed lines. I'm going to walk over there and then we're going to use the H2. You install the gas tank to the synthesizer's feed lines. Now why can't I just turn on the gas? Because that's where he... It's almost as if there's no the option to turn on the gas and it carry, relies sir. on... The can looks much too heavy to carry, doing it for sir. you. I know, and I even tried to use Spock. Nothing to report, Captain. Nothing to report, Captain. It seems like you just use it. Oh, actually, I, it's this... I don't know if it's... Nothing any... happens. Nothing happens. It seems after four times he does it. Nothing happens. I'm sure that's not the right way of doing it. Okay, Captain, yeah, I, I you. see the problem. The gas feeds are turned off. If you'll permit me. Gas feed is on. The machine synthesizes one liter of TLTDH gas. An unusual compound. It doesn't actually... Do Why, that's just... Please, doctor. Now can we gas the entire building with it? You take a one liter container of TLTDH gas. You know what we're missing though is um, um, 
A nozzle. Remember right early on there was a nozzle? Yeah. Turn wet again then. Yeah, it does. It seems to cut out sometimes. Um, it's almost like a music track and it has to re restart itself. Yeah, it's like an almost. I don't, I don't know if it's getting it from the vir like a virtual CD, you know, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. You take the oral. Back in a moment. We can. The fact, we'll see to watch this, in fact. Sorry, so we're Dave. going into the back room there. We're going into the back room to see if we can connect the stuff to the air supply. See if it lets us do that, see if we've, we've got the right idea with it. What, in here? Yeah. But this isn't the... Uh... I don't suppose you'd enjoy the psychological release of a few good oh, belly laughs, Spock? We could open the canister right here, if you like. I would strongly recommend against it, Doctor. Yeah, so you connect it up to the valve there, to the air supply. Over there. And then see if that pipes but, it into every room. But that wasn't air, though. That was nitrogen. Yeah, I, I don't know. A loud hissing fills the room. Oh, I think I've just... I've just released it in the air. Was that a misclick or did you no, do it right it and that's what happened? Up. It lit up there, you know. Right, okay. So I, I, I thought that's what we would do with the stuff, but obviously not. The panel closes. Right, back in a minute. The panel yeah. opens. Any ideas, Andy? There is nothing at the moment from... No, I'm, I'm absolutely... On this, they said, I think we need to find a nozzle at some point. I, I, this room must serve a purpose, and I don't know what. Well, it does because like we synthesized we, synth we, we synthesized a sample of the stuff from the um, oh, do we in here? Yeah, like you know, we got the, the insulation wiring and then we, we extracted it, right. I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna go back in here and look for the. For, there's a nozzle. <coughs> yeah. She's still tied up. Thank God it's you, Jim. I'm so glad you came. Anthony and I will look after these Romulans, Jim. Dr. McCoy, we could use your expertise on discovering a cure for the virus. All our equipment is at your disposal. Hmm. You get no response. Fascinating equipment. I believe I have seen this sort of equipment someplace before. We're testing the effect of radiation on combinations of simple and complex molecules. We're trying to see what new forms of life are developed and how they compare to our own early development. Fascinating. Well, that was new. You get no response. This Romulan yeah. commander is to talk to them or something. Any revelations? Well, we found only one thing that said, he looked at this panel and he said, we're trying different um, combinations to see how life was formed. Different combinations of chemicals. They've been through a good deal of stress, but they're already starting to recover. Their heart rate is dropping and their blood pressure is also dropping. I thought we might find some sort of a nozzle in here, you know, maybe, but... Yeah. 
But if those Romulans have already out of it, then Kurt, I mean Spock's gonna. Be Go soon anyway. I'll get up early. I don't. I feel as if we're missing something we haven't come across yet. Well, yeah, I mean, for sure we are. This is the Arc 7's. Or do we have there. all we need to know to solve it? These Romulans are totally out of Did it. Did we try and make water? These Romulans are <laughs> totally out of it. This is the Arc 7's crew quarters. Um. These Romulans are totally out of it. I did try. Yes, although I don't know for sure. I mean, it's all. Nothing to report, Captain. Because what I think when we tried the hydrogen and oxygen together, we already had put the stuff in the in the chamber. Sure, we've got to help so, these men before they die. We didn't try and make water on its own, we tried to make the the knockout gas. Sure, but what would you then use that for? I don't know, give it to the Romulans or something? What uh, water? I, I don't know. It I, doesn't I, even let you in the room when they're when they're conscious though, you just, you just get shot. Uh, I just wonder if we need more <coughs> compound or something. I, 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 Nothing seems to... It feels as if we, we need more clues and the game should be giving us more clues, which means we might be missing clues. Well, I'll tell you what I, I'll tell you what I think, right? Right. You see that You see that thing there, that green thing, right? Yes. Yep. It's exactly the same shape as that, as, as that bottle that we made, remember? Yes. Okay. So, maybe we'll put it in there. I mean, it says it needs a nozzle, but maybe the nozzle is on the bottle. I don't know. Could be. Oh, maybe, we'll, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll make some water and put the cure into water. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go back and load it just to give us a bit more time. Because we did a lot of messing around. We didn't really get anything. So, right, we're going here, right? And... Okay, Dave. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll use. We'll just use it without without putting something in there first. All right. So it might be we need to put. We, uh, we might be. Uh, it may, maybe it's water. Maybe it's not. Maybe we need to make something, and then use that with the Aurobarus virus and the cure and machine to create a cure. The maybe the cure needs a base bags. liquid, or base gas in the form of liquid to to form onto. But it could, it might be that we just put the virus in the sampler, we put the gas in the other one, and it creates a sort of gas that can cure them. You know what I mean? I don't. Well, know. I'm just thinking if 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 the nozzle needs, if the nozzle needs, if we need a nozzle and the nozzle is in the bottle, then we need you to connect a bottle to that at the same time lines. as putting the Aurobaros thing in. So we need to know which which a bottle of what a, we can't get an empty bottle so it Nothing has to be a bottle happens. of laughing gas a bottle of water a bottle of what else can we make ammonia Nothing can we make happens. anything else td laid knockout Nothing gas happens. do we need knockout gas and the cure the together problem. is that it the gas he's turned that on gas feed is on so we might just we might get the machine synthesizes a liter of pure water there you go a clean drink of water but I don't see its application in the context of our difficulties, Captain. You fail to obtain anything. You take a one liter container of pure water. Well, it's something. I mean, it could be a red herring. Hmm. We know in previous things there have been red herrings, I think. The machine synthesizes one liter of tea. An unusual compound. It doesn't affect Bob. Actually, Doctor, both run. Why, that's just dandy. Please, Doctor. Right.
You take a one liter container of TLTDH gas. You fail to obtain anything. Well, I believe ammonia would be nitrogen and hydrogen. Yes. In each, yes. I would not recommend removing the canister. Where, where is the valve then? Because I mean. Yeah, I stopped in it last time. I failed to see. You did it yourself once, so I think, at least. Uh, he did it, but he sort of he was, like, pissed about just down there, you know. The can looks much too heavy. There is nothing at the moment for me to... You look but see nothing of note. You look but see nothing of note. An RDAC 1000. The last word in molecular... It would take us several hours to get this machine working. I have no idea how to turn the nozzle off, or whatever. I mean, logically, it would be that there, but this... The can looks much too heavy. There is nothing at the moment. All right, well, at least let's, let's go and put the... Um... Which way is it? Through there. Let's try that anyway. Put that bottle in there. Hey! We can. We can put that bottle in there. Did we get some virus? No. Do we have to do something with that then? Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna. You take the Ouroboros virus culture. I'm gonna mix. The chamber is empty. I'm gonna put the virus. The in chamber there. is empty. And... The chamber is empty. Potentially create some sort of. Um... Gas that can. An, you know, analyze. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, analyze the virus and create an antigen. Mix it with that, and, and I don't know. But anyway, McCoy, what can you do? This isn't the result I was hoping for, Jim. I see. I certainly see nothing there calling for. You take the Ouroboros virus culture. There is nothing at the moment for me. There is nothing at the moment for me to do there. Careful, Jim. That's a distillator, not a can opener. That's work. Should I um try to <coughs> Of course, the Romulan laughing gas could be uh, the red hair. I'm wondering if the Romulan laughing gas is a way to get down there Done. just a little bit early and get more score than what you would do if you waited. Yeah, I think that might be the case. Nothing happens. So that, that, that seems to be, if we can use that machine, then it seems to be we can use the virus with a bottle of something to get a cure. Previously saved game. Okay. It 
seems to me that, yeah, that gas, right, that could be, mm -hmm. it could be, like you said, like a bonus. If you, if you have the time, make the gas and um, drop it so that the droplets yeah. are knocked out or something. But there's nothing, I mean, okay, you've got the oxygen... nitrogen and the hydrogen, right? Which will make water mm -hmm. H2O water, <coughs> ammonia nitrogen mm -hmm. and hydrogen and nitrous oxide oxygen and nitrogen, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the three and presumably if you know how to switch the nozzle on and off mm -hmm. Which I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not wanting to look at a um, walkthrough just know, yet. A walkthrough or anything. But I, I kind of feel like sometimes when it's something that's just not intuitive, and then you look, and you realise it was and, never intuitive, and we're well, never going to get it. Yeah, exactly. And it's like you haven't cheated. It's just shown you how to do the thing that you actually wanted to do. You know. So I, I think. Oh. We've got company in here too now. So, if I take a notepad out, I th <clears throat> we know how to make water, ammonia, and laughing gas, yeah. and Romulan. Romulan ale? I think we could all do with a Romulan uh, ale, couldn't we? We've got a Romulan ale, so we, need, we know how to make four different things. And those four different things, each one of those will be the nozzle. So I, I'm fairly certain that, that machine, we're at, that green machine, we was there. There, we use water, ammonia, laughing gas, or Romulan ale plus the virus, and that gives us the cure. The question, the question is, which one of the four it is, and then do we need to make one of those go there, one of those go there, one of those go there until we get until we get a result we're looking for? Well, or that's, yeah, I can't are we like missing that. something in the game that tells us yeah. this already? Well, that's are we, be, I, are we, are we, be, are we missing an obvious clue? I think it would tell you, wouldn't it? Can we go back and read the description again of what the... No, no, we, 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 make, we can make TDLDH where it is. We, we don't need to see, to see a description of, of what that is. Um, it's the cure we need. Yeah. Robert Smith. Well, Andy needs to go though. Should, should, should we, um, should we knock it on the head and say, well, we did, we made a fair bit of progress and continue next. Yeah, week. unless anyone's got any more thoughts to say, but just to give us something to dwell on until next week. Well, let's sum it up. We've got. Um, those four different chemicals that we could make but I don't know the one thing that's kind of bothering me is the fact that that nozzle that whole thing with the nozzle uh -huh. was was I, I can't help feeling like you you should be able to do that yourself to turn on the gas yeah without spot okay yeah yeah and I, and yeah. I must admit that that I mean I am tempted to look at a walkthrough about that because I must yeah. game over load a previously saved game I'm just gonna have a look now Okay, well, basically, it is just, from what I can tell, and it doesn't say anything about it, really, it, it is just a, um, 
a case of trying each one and, mm -hmm. and one of them will work. Mm, okay. You know? That's mildly annoying, bit of busy work. But there you go. Well, it's just... Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really... And there's nothing, as far as I can tell, that explains why... Or which... I mean, you know, there should be something that tells you which one would work, right? Mm -hmm. Um... Perhaps we'll figure that out, but yeah, I mean, well, look, look before we go, look, go in here, and we will, um, put the nitrogen on here. You install the gas tank to the synthesizer. And ammonia, right? So, you install the gas there. tank to the synthesizer's feed lines. And then we'll go to here. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Right, after the fourth time... Captain, says, oh, I I'll see the out. problem. That the gas... That's, that's really annoying, off. isn't it? I can't be right. Gas feed is on. The machine synthesizes a liter of ammonia. I hope you don't want me to swap the deck with that, Captain. I think we can set this aside and not worry about it. You take a one liter container of ammonia. Yeah. That that stuff would kill anything. <coughs> well, that that if stuff you, will make that if you will, use that, it in your house, your cat will start pissing there. That stuff will make anything run away. Here she comes. She's stretching. She's about to join the party. <laughs> Going to climb up any minute. Right. Let's see what the virus thinks. What's, a, what's annoyed me is like how you couldn't create like we all we wanted to do is create all of them and try all of them right mm. but, but like you said it's not yes darling yeah well it's the door open okay I'm finishing up now anyway now The freezer unit is too long. Yeah, I'm Imagine if I used the anti grab on the freezer unit, that would be quite fun. You take the Ouroboros. This is it, Jim. There's not much, but all I need to do is synthesize some more, and we're in business. We've got a replicator, haven't we? Where? I'm a, I'm disappointed in the game there because that's just, we've got something that that's just we can duplicate work. stuff. Yeah. Mm. Have we? we? We've got a matter. We've got a matter duplicator somewhere. I thought we said. something where Dr. Carol Marcus maybe had a conversation with with uh, Bones and said like we 
we, we found that uh, it, the, the virus responds to certain nitrogen-based compounds or something, you know what I mean? Mm. Well, now that we know, maybe we can go and do that. We've I feel like if we... Point, have we? Maybe, maybe now that we know, we, um, we should be going back and keeping an eye out for it telling us that maybe it does tell us that and we didn't we didn't notice. I don't have the proper medicine to cure them Jim yeah, yes you do but just maybe you do this beyond that there's, there's not some kind of duplicator in the through but beside <laughs> Carol was that not one of the machines that was there some kind of replicator the most advanced oh, yeah. replicator machine I don't think so, but I'll have a look. I, I I remember saying to Andy, there's nothing in here, though. There's nothing even for us to look at, though. We'll, we'll have another look. Somewhere there, was a, somewhere there was a replicator kind of thing. The most this advanced replicator advanced. technology or something. Clicking again? Oh, I haven't even untied it yet. Thank God, it's you, Jim. Anthony and I will look after these Romulans, Jim. Dr. McCoy, we could use your expertise on discovering a cure for the virus. All our equipment is at your disposal. Let's tell you what, Brian. Let's just use McCoy on spot. Maybe he can cure I don't have the proper medicine to... Somewhere in here is a machine that duplicates things, and I think that's what you'll need to use the use it on. I don't think it is in here, though. I honestly don't. Because look, when I you look clicked around, on it before you, un you, un you before you untied Carol, you clicked on it. Yeah, but it was only the, what this thing in the middle. I don't know. Um, you, you it appeared the screen saying this is the most advanced here. thing, and you clicked what it. What does this stuff do? What's going on here? We're conducting research into the origins of life in the universe. This is our equipment. We believe that, uh, well, I guess you don't have the time. You can get the background in my doctoral thesis. Game over. Load a previously saved game. All right, guys, I guess we'll leave it there, shall we? Sure, yep. At least we know that we need to make the ammonia, and then we've got to figure out where... I think we have figured out this. There's the machine in the room with Carol, which duplicates things, and I think, I, I presume, will duplicate that enough that we can then dose up the whole space station curing Spock and the, the Romulans. I That's just my don't, guess. I, I just don't remember that being in there. I mean, uh, Andy? But I, I saw it, I saw it like a minute ago, when you, you clicked on it and it came up with the description of the machine, and then you, then you dismissed it and clicked on Carol and freed her first. So it's definitely there. Um, it was something like this is the most advanced advanced replicating technology and we can duplicate things in it. And then you clicked on it again like a minute ago. Um, and that's the machine I think we'll use when we've got the cure and then we'll get more of the cure and enough to use it. I think. <coughs> yeah. Well, well, let's think about it. We'll figure it out. Right. That's us then. See you next week. Yes. I'm right. Yeah. Good night. Well, catch you Thursday. Uh, just a second, guys. I'm going to just uh, sign out of the old uh, Twitch. All right, guys. Well, as we say, happy clicking. Didn't quite finish the episode today. Little cat's coming right now. She's right here. She wants to say hello to everybody on the on the stream. She's right here. So we'll do that just very quickly. Um, one second. Here I am. Come here, you little little monkey. There she is. Not very keen. Oh, are you keen? Are you keen? 
<laughs> like a little Johnny. She's still a kitten, isn't she? Yeah. Right, down you go. Alright guys, well, uh, we will solve this problem next week. Tune in next week for more Star Trek 25th anniversary with us. My prediction is we'll get it done quickly next week. I think so, we'll get it done quickly and then we'll move on to the next episode. So yeah, we'll be back on track. It's just a question of getting the right score. Right, good night. Right, so first of all, let me just stop the stream. So, good night, and well, we say good night, whether nobody's really watching, but perhaps they do watch on YouTube later. So, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next week. Take care, happy clicking. Bye bye. Bye.